Hello there. Welcome to the cologne store. Okay. Are you looking for just men's colognes or female colognes or both? Just had to make sure. Maybe you're buying for family members or friends. Alright. Well, I'm going to start you off today with a wide selection of 10 men's colognes. And these are the newest ones. The ones that are just in just in trend and style and modernized so um, some of these are from a couple few years ago and some of these are pretty new so I'm going to show you the ones that are from a few years old but that are still up today in most cologne stores worldwide and I'm showing you the newest ones and the most pricey ones as well to see what selection you would choose okay well, I'm going to start off with the cheapest of the cheap, and this is a cologne, but you can also use it as an aftershave cologne. And this is Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein. And I'm not going to start pronouncing those French words because I don't speak French. I'm not going to pretend like I speak French either. I'm not trying to impress people or anything. So, this one has a nice little lid on the top. And this lid is so slim and light as well. It fits perfectly to the little spray bottle, which I'm showing you right now. And the little golden headpiece is just a nice addition along with the color of the cologne itself in the bottle. Now most colognes and fragrances have this certain color to them inside the product, but when you spray it out, it is a different color than what it is inside the bottle. So, I do want a sample of this cologne right now. Okay, so like I said, this is a two-in-one cologne slash aftershave, so if you don't need aftershave, uh, I don't really recommend this product, but it will still work for you to smell nice on your night out with friends, maybe to the movies at most. This isn't really anything special. So would you like to try it? Okay. Just spraying it right now. Yes. It doesn't really smell that pleasing, does it? It reminds me of dried apricots. I don't know why. But hmm. who knows? Okay. I'm gonna close this now and set it aside since I guess you don't really like the smell. I'm going to show you the next product. This is just randomized, I guess, by price. But this next cologne product, you can probably recognize. You could probably see this somewhere in Walmart. Uh, this is Jovan Musk for Men. It's only a cologne, and this smells so nice when I've worn this. I've gotten so many compliments and even unexpected offers. So, um, I call it my sort of uh, good luck cologne. It's orangey. This nice orangey color to it. It's mostly a musk cologne. It's really a musky cologne. But I'll let you try it out if you would like. 
sounds fair. Spray it on here a couple of times, okay? Now, before you move on to smelling the product, I want to let you know this is special paper that detects not only fragrance the proper way as skin does, it also detects residue, which will be left on. And this is the first of the colognes, which may leave residue, especially after perspiration. See this piece of slim, rubbery texture looking paper? It's very special and very new. It imitates the texture of skin and pores. So when a certain product is being placed on, especially if you have oily skin, you may not see the actual color, but this is the residue it is leaving behind, especially if you shine like a UV light on your skin or something. But it smells absolutely fascinating, just musky and People will compliment you, so what do you think? Do you still want to buy? Okay. This is a bit used up, as I sample a lot in the store, so I will be sure to get you a new one pronto. Alright. Next, I'm going to show you next cheapest one. Uh, this went down in price a lot the past few years because it's been on the shelf the past few years. Not my favorite. Um, this one does have a nice color but it really does not resemble who I am as a person overall. I think this is maybe a cologne made somewhere in the Asian countries, if I'm not mistaken by the name of it, but there's not much to this cologne. There's just a lever in the back where you push the button and spray, so um, it pops out too apparently, but I would leave it in because it looks nicer this way. This cologne is very specific and you have to have a certain taste to wear it. So do you want to try it? Sure, sure. Alright. This really needs to set in, so I'm gonna waft it around. I'm gonna close my eyes because it may spray on me. This one leaves a very um, wet residue. It's not really anything of a big deal. It just it goes on clear, you know. Uh, it, it smells really sickening to me. That's just my taste. Do you like the smell? different. I personally didn't like the smell, but would you like to buy it? Alright. Okay. Again, this is partially used, so I'll make sure to package it with um, the proper um, So, I'm 
just showing you the ones that are pretty much open right now as far as colognes go. And um, this one uh, is Jean Paul Gaultier's um, cologne. And it is quite pricey, but uh, we lowered it to about 50 bucks. So um, it has this grenade looking uh, keychain just pull off and spray and then when it's not being put in use you just click it back so it's a really nice uh, bomb looking uh, cologne it's uh, very cute with like you know the shape of a man's body and just you know the stripes resembling his uh, shirts and he likes to wear you know Jean Paul with his blue stripes and all so name in the back. So, would you like a spray? Okay. Right. Come on. Now, this smell This one leaves a very thin, bubbly, but sort of stained surface. I don't know if you can tell. But once it dries off, it goes away, but that's how it goes on at first. And it may be too intense and strong at first, but once it calms down, it mixes with your glands and everything. It works differently on everyone else. What do you think? Yeah. You think it would smell bad? So you don't want it? Yeah, it, it's probably not worth it for some people, but I mean, whatever works. So, all right, guess not. Okay, this last one that's kind of open, I just wanted to show the packaging, but this is Versace Eros, and it's named after the Greek. God arrows, God of strength, and uh, it's a nice big blue packaging. I'm just gonna open it up, show you the cologne. And it looks like this. This was 80, but we dropped it to 70. logo in the front. It's a nice slim box looking blue cologne. It is absolutely fascinating. Again, this is a bit used up, so uh, I'm going to get you a new one, but the ridges and just texture is just so shiny and just so wonderful and you just simply pop open this little heavy button looking lid and then spray. You would love spray, wouldn't you? Okay. Alright. This is one of my favorites. very specific taste though. I read a lot of reviews at risk and bought the 
cologne myself at risk because um, I didn't know how it smelled like. I actually bought it before it came on the shelves, but. This I can handle with a deep breath because it smells so, so amazing. <sighs> and it doesn't leave residue, but what do you think of the smell? Wonderful, isn't it? Makes you feel rich. Would you like it? separate piles here to make sure what you wanted and what you didn't want is in the right order so I can get you uh, uh, new versions of these colognes because sometimes they modify them and whatnot so all right this is going to be random but the next one I'm going to show you is um, Davidoff's Cool Water, and it is this very tall packaging. This is actually on $35 right now. Very wonderful deal for an amazing smelling cologne. And in this cologne, let me open up the package. This is really blue, this is shiny looking box. Could match with your Versace cologne. green tint probably, but um, has a black plastic top with a silver metallic looking head. And I just adore the textures on the sides of the bottle with the um, architecture, how it's shaped and how it's so just tall and blunt. very new to this cologne. I really, I prefer it <laughs> sometimes. I just cough because it's really strong. It reminds me of this kid's bubble gum uh, with like a lot of artificial watermelon. <laughs> Sorry, this cologne is very intense. And I'm wafting it in. It does leave a little bit of white and clear residue. The cheaper colognes do that. The cashier told me this smells good. I don't think so, honey. This doesn't really smell that good to me, but I'm just being an honest salesman. What do you think? I don't want to jip my customer. I 
where it belongs in the dark. Cool water. I wouldn't even use this on the beach. Trust me. Anyway. Now I'm going to show you the ones that are packaged and I haven't opened yet. Um, this is Eternity for Men by Calvin Klein and this is $40. And I'm going to carefully open this package. So if you don't mind. This is actually my first time opening this too, so um, bear with me. It is gorgeous. Um, you can probably already tell it's very white inside and just opening it. Wow. I mean, what more can I say? This is a green... It looks like someone squeezed a lime in here. Um, beautiful, beautiful head, beautiful body shape, and just wonderful. Looks like it would be great for a night out and you can see the lever on the back gorgeous bottle what else do i have to tell you like buy it already i'm just kidding okay um doesn't have that wow factor, you know, like, or maybe I'm just tired of smelling colognes. It, 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 it smells like paper, like just something plain, you know what I mean? Look at the residue. I think it's worth it. It doesn't have this wow factor. Do you like it? Yeah, I mean, we're better off probably just giving it to a friend or something. Just for the look of the bottle, nothing more. You get me? Yeah. So you want it? Okay. Totally up to you, totally fine. Um, The next one I'm going to show you right now is this uh, Beverly Hills Polo Club, and it's uh, sexy for men. These Beverly Hills have this leather-looking boxes always, and uh, all these always tell you warning labels, flammable until dry, keep away from heat or flame, keep away from children. Uh, they don't need to smell it. You know, they're not adults, so... Just be careful when uh, putting too much of any colognes. That's all. Uh, especially in here, it smells like a cologne factory. Not that I know what that smells like.
cookie though. I mean, it is ten dollars. This box just refuses to open. There we go. And already it looks like the same on the inside as the Calvin Klein one, so I don't know what to expect. I mean, I work here and I still don't know what to expect. Um, I can already tell this is going to be one of those cheapos. I'll just buy the shape of the bottle. Uh, ones that tend to look more like a, uh, sort of a slim, like, weapon looking thing. Like those axe ones. Not my taste. I mean, just see for yourself. I mean, it already looks like one of those cheap knockoff colognes, but we, we will see. We will see. I just wasn't expecting this shape for this um, square packaging, so yeah, we will see about that. It probably doesn't even spray. I mean, it was $10. I mean, the head tip looks like it's already broken. There we go. What a cute flavor just does. Very wet residue, even a little bit of dust. I think it bleached through the tape. Oof, this is not a good quote for writing. Don't buy this. Has a smell, then it fades. You need to be really close to smell it. Yeah. Sort of like the Calvin Klein one, no wow factor. Just dead. It reminds me of. It reminds me of like a facial product, like a face scrub. You don't like it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Uh, not everyone's cup of tea. This is just for the purpose of saying I have so and so cologne. Nothing more. This next one is another Versace. It is called The Dreamer. And I've heard so many good things about this one, although it is small and deceiving, like the Burberry colognes usually tend to be small and uh, deceiving, but they smell good. And I was actually going to show you the Burberry one, but that one just got off the shelves recently. goes well with the name. You can see the stars. It's very shiny and slim. Stars and dreams. Fancy.
it's okay. I mean, the front is pretty much what we expect in a cologne, but um, you can't lift this off actually. It's the button down here. You have to press to spray, and uh, they have their logo on the front. We'll see how it smells. Thank God for this store, right? You really gotta smell the cologne before you buy it. There's no residue. The Versace ones don't leave residue. They're good, but this one smells like a sweaty armpit. What do you think? Sweaty foot, probably. more feminine if anything right and the last one I will be showing you is the Beverly Hills Polo Club blue and I am not having high hopes for this one because the last one smelled like doo-doo for such a cheap cologne. This is an insult to humanity. They probably need to stop putting their logo so much on their shirts. But their shoes are at least somewhat decent, at least for golfing. <laughs> and again, it's the same sort of packaging. this last spray. If it even sprays. That's a miracle. This is less of a disappointment. You might like this. like the cool water one. It's not that bad, but it's really not that bad. One less smell. You sure you want to buy it? All right. I mean, I would have bought this too. It's uh, really nice, rigid texture. Side, same metallic, chic looking bottle. And the color on this one is honestly better. organized all the strips to um, the colognes you're going to buy. So uh, one last look to ensure that you actually would love to buy the product. Are you all done? 
สองหอมพอรบลึกโอเคสวัสดีค่ะ